Hi everybody and welcome back to Just Paint It. Uh, today is a little different than what I usually do if you're new to the channel. I usually, you know, I'm talking in, with the video and I, my audio just got messed up because I was messing around with the settings and everything so I'm just going to talk over the video. Alright, so that's a little different today. But um, if you're here, you're here because you want to learn how I, or see how I painted um, Uhura by VX Labs uh, Mega and just to let you quick know um, it was it was a very fun kit to paint um, it's part of my series where I'm doing different skin tones um, it was a request from one of my viewers or a few of my viewers actually um, so that's that's what it is it's part of one of uh, you know I started off with doing bro shake which was a, just an arm just to get a little warmed up and then I did a face which is Chani, and now I'm working on Uhura. Beautiful kit, amazing sculpt. I had a little issue with the legs and stuff, so, but I don't want to go over that because I, you know, I had some problems, you know, trying to seam up the legs underneath the skirt, but, you know, you can't see under the skirt, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm very happy overall the way the kit came out, and. You know, there's going to be pictures at the end of the video and everything, and, and the pictures just don't do justice what it, the kit actually looks like and what it came out like. It's too shiny for me, you know, the pictures, but, you know, same thing with Chani from the last time. It's just like I went out. The pictures actually uh, didn't give do the kit justice. So if you watch the video, you should actually be able to see better uh, what the end product was like, okay? But other than that, you know, it was a fun kit to paint. Um, it was a little bit of challenging this one because if you once you start watching you're gonna see me going back and forth and I'll touch up those areas once we start watching the the process uh, there was a lot of back and forth to try to get that right tone but you know sometimes when you do the you know painting you, you're gonna run into those situations where you are gonna have to go back and forth with colors or like what I use is pastels and keep on trying to get the right tone highlights shadows you know whatever um, but this one was a little challenging but at the end you know I think I was very happy with the results and, and it is beautiful skin tone beautiful kit you know nice beautiful sculpt um, other than that you know uh, I want to try to keep this short but if you're new to the channel I do a lot of skin tone videos and I'm, I'm not a professional, I'm a hobby, I love the hobby just like anybody else, 3D printing, I also do resin casting kits, um, uh, by far I don't consider myself a professional but you know uh, I'd like to share my uh, adventure with you guys, okay, so if you have any comments or any, uh, any ideas or any questions Please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And let me get let's get started with this video. All right. So basically, here uh, I'm getting started. Um, and I want to show you uh, the kit. There she is, right there. She's primed and ready to paint. Now, guys, um, before I even put primer on, I washed the kit and I used Dawn dish, dish detergent, um, just a regular soap uh, with a, with a soft toothbrush, and I cleaned the whole kit. I cleaned it real good and I let it dry overnight. Okay, and then I used an automotive uh, fill primer. Okay, and I don't spray it heavily over it. I go nice and gently and I you know I do a nice coverage over it. And you, you know you want to you want to spray and cover up cover up all those little um <clears throat> layer lines that you get from the 3D printing, right? Um you don't want to soak it, you don't want to overspray, you don't want to cover up all those details. You want to give a nice gentle spray over check it let it dry overnight if you have to spray it again you go right ahead and you do that um, you don't wanna you know 
cover up too much of it because then you're going to cover up all the details. You know, fill primer is 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 very thick, uh, but it does cover up all those gyrations and the little layer lines and the circular lines that you see. You can sand those all day. You're not going to get rid of them. All right. Um, best thing to do is use a good fill primer. I use Krylon Automotive Primer, and it works fantastic. You get a nice coverage and nice finish where, and you can sand it. But if before you sand it, you let it dry really good overnight, you know, it, it'll say that it'll dry quick. Let it let it sit for overnight or let it cure before you start sanding it. And then you repeat the process if you have to. All right. It might take a little while longer, but trust me, the finish that you're going to get at the end is going to be perfect. Okay. So, um, and then you prime it, you sand, prime again if you have to, and you continue. And then you're going to be ready to start putting paint down. All right, so I'm mean, going to stop it here, and we're going to go move on to the painting. All right, so here I want to start uh, mixing up the color, and the color that I'm going to be using for the base layer, the skin tone, is Bosch Chestnut by Scale Color. It's a great color to use as a base color for for dark skin tones. Okay. And give credit to Mr. Uh, Mr. Brett Gowdy from uh, Ground Effect that he this is a little bit of his formula. But then, you know, I change it up a little bit and you know use some of this, some of my technique that I have uh, tried out and it worked out pretty good for me. All right, but Brett's got great videos too, so check out his stuff. I'll leave a link down below for his uh, channel. Now the way I mix my paint is base. You know, I don't have a formula. I, I usually most of the time I put a, a drop of uh, floor improver and then um, I have a video uh, for how to make your own uh, uh, airbrush cleaner and airbrush thinner right? you can see there I'm testing my paint I had a hard time with my airbrush that day for some reason both of my airbrushes but thin layer guys this is all about putting thin layers down and I don't, you know, I don't overspray. I don't spray too much paint all at once. I like to do thin layers and just spray the whole kit. Wait till it dries and then go back again and then do it again. It dries pretty quick, so if you do one leg, by the time you're doing that leg, you go to move up to the other one, and then when you come back to the other leg, it should be dry. So you know, you see me turn the kit and um, you know. Uh, you know, continue spraying and sometimes I stop and I look wait a little bit and then you know I continue to spray until I get a good coverage on all the skin tone all right uh, because of the kit you know I put together the legs and the torso and the head all already because I needed to do some seam work on that um, it was a very it's a large kit so it was very hard for me to you're gonna see me struggle a little bit with um, holding the kid as I'm painting because I want to keep things in camera you know and things like that and uh, so this way you guys can see what I'm doing but here I'm getting ready to paint making sure that I get a good see how it spits out I've been having a problem with airbrush so I'm gonna cut some of this off but I just wanted to tell you guys how I my process how I get started you see me struggling with that goddamn thing. Alright, so you see me now starting to put the layer down. Okay. Nice and gently. I'm not soaking it. I'm not over, you know, putting too much paint on there. Just going around and just gently putting down some paint. So I'm going to probably fast forward through some of this stuff, so... So continue to keep on putting layers down. You see, I'm putting nice thin layers. All right, it's a little, it's only a little fast here, so um, it's very simple. Just keep on putting even layers down. You know, get a good coverage on your base layer. All right, that is key. Right, and it, like I was trying to say before too, is my dilution on this is is very simple dilution method that I use is a. 
Not all the paints are the same. Like this, this Bosch chestnut is very thin, so I didn't use a lot of thinner in it. But my method is to keep the, the, the at least the paint to consistency of milk is going to flow good through my airbrush. Now that's me. Everybody else has a different method. Some people like to go a little thinner than that, and that's okay. You know, this is the way the method that works for me, and um, and I never had a problem with it. You know, sometimes like today I had you happen to have a problem. I but that was I think more because of the humidity in my room. Um, but other than that. Um, uh, that's the consistency I keep my my my, uh, my paint for my airbrushes. All right. Uh, sometimes I go a little thinner, you know, depending on if, how much translucent I want the paint to be. You know, depending, it all depends. Depends, but base layers and most of the painting consistency of milk usually works pretty good for me. And I try to get to keep that method for myself. But that that's me. You know, it works pretty good for me. And I use all different types of airbrushes. So, um, you know, here I'm going to do in the arms. And you see how I'm turning it. You know, by the time I turn the other side, the paint's almost already dry. And I can put another layer down. Now I'm doing the face. I'm trying to get good coverage. And when you're painting face, you want to go over that hairline a little bit with your overspray. Uh, because you want to put, when you paint the hair, you want to do those thin lines on the edges of that face. And you know how your, your skin shows through your hair a little bit? That's um, that right there is important because you know it, it blends the hair and the face together very nicely, and you'll see that when I start painting the face, what it's going to look like. So, yeah, or else you can visit my other videos too, and I do a lot of that kind of stuff too. Um, so continue here, paint, keep on putting layers down until I'm happy with what I have. Make sure that everything is covered nicely. Right, and I love that that Bosch chestnut is a beautiful color for dark skin tones for your base. All right, so basically here, what I try to what I'm starting to do now is going to start to just do some tinting. All right, and the first color that we're going to do is the Phallax Yellow. All right, by Citadel. And um, I just put a little bit on there and just add some water. And then I brush it on all over the place. And then you see that I have a sponge there on the left and I'll be using one sponge for one color. And then dab it. Don't, don't wipe it, don't brush it. Dab it off, okay? And I do the process with three colors usually, or sometimes four, depending on the kit. And the order usually you start off with yellow first, and then I change up the other two colors depending on the on what what kind of effect that I'm looking for. Like you know, the red is going to be you know like a you get more like a little bit more of a darker tan maybe you know effect if you want. Just I will use red last. If you want to go with a colder skin, you go with the blue last. You know. You know, one is warm and one is cold. So, you know, I like to switch those up because of that. You know, that's my method. And what I figured out when doing this is I used to, used to, used to tint and then freckle. And now with this process, I pretty much, uh, I don't know if it's because of the paint or because of the, the, uh, the sealer that I use. I'm able to do both in one shot. You know, I dab it off like that with the with the sponge, and it's tinting and freckling at the same time. Not so much with the yellow, but but with the other two colors is more 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 noticeable. All right. All right. So here I'm just speeding up the process with the yellow, as you can see, and just doing all over the body. You know, do it one section at a time. I do the face and then the arms. Right. And just dab it off. Don't brush it. Don't wipe it. Just dab, dab, dab. Don't let it pool anywhere. Okay, make sure that wherever it pulls, you pick it up. Don't let it pool anywhere. Like in the creases or anything like that. If you can't get it with the with the sponge, go in there with a brush. And remove the pooling. Okay. So 
you doing the legs? Okay. And then once we're done with that, we're going to move into the next color. Okay, so once we're done with the the yellow, now we're gonna do the same thing with the red. All right. Um, same thing, same process. Uh, you probably notice see, notice the, the the pink how it's gonna break up, and as I start to sponge it, you're just gonna see like little spots and stuff. And I usually leave the little spots, not the big ones, but the little ones. And I leave a lot of those on, all right? Now, depending on the size of the figure, I tend to not leave as much on smaller heads like this. I usually do quarter scale stuff. And I, I do a little more freckling than, than this. And if I go, if I need to put more freckles, I'll go in there with the, the either a low pressure airbrush or uh, an angled brush and I'll freckle, I'll spray some freckles on, a little more freckles on a kit. But for something small like that, I'm gonna try not to go too crazy. All right. So. so I'm not sure if I said the color. The color the the red is uh, Angron Red Clear. All right. And you see me applying it here. Uh, and just dab and repeat the process. Head, arms, legs. All And the next color that we're going to go with here is the blue. And the blue color is Dragonhoff Nightshade. Right. And just small amounts, so you don't need a lot. Okay. And you add water. And you're going to repeat the process. Okay. And you're going to apply intent and leave any little spots there. Okay, take the big spots off, leave the little spots, and take off the ones that you don't want, where the places you don't want them. And repeat the process. Start with the head, and move down to the arms, and then the legs. So here, here you can see a close-up of the freckling that is left behind. Okay, those little spots and stuff like that. And that's all from just sponging. Alright. 
so that's a great effect all right and you're gonna cover up a lot of that a lot of that stuff up is gonna get covered while, while you start doing layers everything is done in layers guys all right so now uh we're gonna move into the shading and i'm gonna use an extra uh really dark brown to do shading with the pastels and that is uh, dark sienna extra dark. Okay. And uh, you're gonna see me here just using a small brush, and then I got a filbert brush to blend in. So, but I start off doing all the edges and doing all the creases and things like that. And you're gonna see me just put down pastels all around those edges and darken those edges up. In, you know in any crease and things like that and just put color down all right and then I'm gonna go around with the filbert brush after I'm done and then blend it all in okay so one of the things that I want to make sure that I tell you guys is whenever you do layers you, you, you seal it okay make sure that you seal it and um, protect the layer that you did before before you start doing anything else and um, the one that I use is a Krylon UV resistant clear okay matte okay and every time you know you don't see me doing it because I take my kids outside to do it I don't do it in the house or anything like that you know uh, it smells pretty bad so and you're not supposed to inhale it so just take it outside or if you have a, uh, a good ventilated area then you can do it but you know if it just be warned that the, the stuff stinks and it stays that in for a while so but um, uh, I take it outside and I do it it also gives me a good uh, visual because I use the, the outside light the daylight to see where I'm at with the kit too I like to like to use different sources of light to see where I'm at with the kit and what it needs or where I need to touch up and things like that so So after everything is done with the brown, I go in with um, the magenta extra dark, and I apply it underneath the eyebrows, underneath uh, underneath the eyes, under the, the upper cheekbone, the lips, just to give everything a little bit more of a blood flow and a little pinkish tone to the skin. You know, and I think it does a really beautiful effect and stuff like that. Underneath the nose right there, I'm putting a little bit, you know, just to get a little color, you know, a little little more blood flow into the certain areas. And it works very, very well. Uh, it, gives, it gives the skin, like, that complete look, you know what I mean? And I want to be doing this a couple of times because, you know, when you do layers and you're applying the layers onto the skin, Sometimes certain things are going to get covered up where you're going to want to go back and enhance it a little bit more, you know what I mean? So, I also do sometimes like in the hands, you know, you give it a little blood flow to the hands, uh, you know, the knees, maybe, things like that. You know, wherever you think that you want to put a little color, depending on the character or the skin tone or what the character is doing at that time. You know, a lot of these things, you know, you got to take those things into consideration. All right, so... All right, so next is the, from the Fairy Flesh set. Uh, the color that I'm gonna apply here is the reddish tone from the set. Let me get that color out so I say, uh, burned flesh, not burnt, but burned flesh. Okay, it's got like a little reddish tone to it. 
I'm going to apply it from the bottom, not so much from like the bottom bottom, but like 45 degree angle, and I'm just applying a little bit of color all over the place. Because I want to make sure that there's a little bit of that reddish undertone, like, in, uh, like a mid-tone. And, you know, I'm just putting a little, very little bit of this stuff on there, okay? It's not a whole lot. So, don't go too crazy with that stuff. Just a little bit of that all over the skin, just like underneath it, but not too, like at a 45 degree angle from the bottom, okay? And then light spray over. All right, so the next color that we're using is Sh uh, Shadow Flesh by uh, Monument Hobbies at Pro Acro, okay? Uh, this is good, this one you're gonna, you're gonna spray from the bottom, all right, directly from the bottom gonna put some more shadows but underneath but with this color okay right. and just a little bit you don't have to go very crazy you're gonna see how gently and softly I apply it all right very thin layers okay Okay, so here I'm going to start applying uh, the first uh, highlight, and it's from the Nocturna, Nocturna series, Base Flesh, okay? And I'm not applying it all the way up high, I'm applying it more like in a 45 degree angle, kind of, okay? And this is going to be the first part of me trying to lighten, it, lighten up the skin tone a little bit, okay? And again, like, like I'm kind of like in a 45 degree angle, you're going to see me turn the kid around, in different ways and uh, try to apply a little bit of a, a lighter color around the whole skin 45 degree angle more or less Alright, so basically here, all you see is that the skin got a lot lighter now. Okay, but don't worry, things are going to change. You'll see as the process goes, things will start to come together, okay? So, sorry about that. So as you see, I applied the color all around the kit. And with a gentle spray, you know, a little bit of the results that I got okay all right welcome back so today's a new day and I sealed it last night before I went to bed it just got a little late for me and everything and it just I'm not happy with the tone yet I think it's still a little dark so what I did is I I'm gonna go with the tan flesh all right and just go with the method that i did yesterday the last method and the last color that i used yesterday was um i don't think i mentioned it but it was uh natural flesh by nocturna all right so now i want to go that phone 
Now I want to go with the tan flesh. All right, and I want to do the same method, and not go all the way up the last highlight, but this is going to be the thick over for the second highlight. It's getting there, but I think, I think it needs to get a little bit, just a little bit lighter on the mid-tone going to the highlight. All right, so <clears throat> that's where I'm at. And the airbrushes were giving me a freaking hard time yesterday. I'm looking at like how the light would hit it. All right, so now I could go with the last highlight. All right, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna have to touch up some of the shadows and a couple of shadows. That's not, not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna seal this. All right, and I'll be back and we'll do the highlight, another highlight. Okay. Alright, so I'm starting to go in here and, and just touch up a little bit with the pastels, a couple of shadows, not too too much. I want to do a little bit of the hair, right. and uh, So let's hit that little purple around the eyes and stuff, and then we'll go back and we'll shoot another highlight. a little bit does a little bit of a difference okay all right so let me throw in some highlight just right over the uh, the pastels we'll do it if you don't feel comfortable doing that you know what i'm gonna seal it because i've been having problems with my brushes my hair brushes let me go seal it and uh i'll be right back okay just a little bit of highlight <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna use the highlighted skin from Torna. Just a little bit here to see how it comes out. It's coming out okay from there. Let's see. Just a little bit. You don't want to go too. This is really, really light.
Okay. That's good enough, and I'm gonna tone her down. Seal it and tone it down. So we're back. All right, so what I'd like to do now is give her like that little bit of tan back to her face and to her, you know, most of the skin. Um, but what I'm gonna have to do is stand her up. And I got this ready here. Like so. All right. There we go. And I'm gonna adjust this camera for you guys. So you can see what the hell's going on here. And then I'm filming. Oh, you're gonna see a little bit of the film there. But I'll try to get a little more light on her. Just give me a sec. There we go. Just to light a little bit so you can see that a little better. Right there. Okay. And I'll spin around and I'll paint, you know. It's gonna be a misting. It's not gonna be nothing crazy or nothing like that, right? So, um, the color that I'm using for that is gonna be the Garage Kits US. I don't know which camera to go to. Uh, let me go to this one. Garage Kits US um, Transparent Natural Flesh, okay? And this is like a tint, and it's gonna go very lightly. And all I wanna do is just bring some of that little bit of tan color back you know all right so it's very light i'm gonna put a couple drops i got this mix pre-mixed alcohol water here just for this paint okay. and it's like a very transparent but it's extremely strong okay so you got to be very careful how much you put on you don't want to get too carried away all right uh, you can use any kind of like uh, you can use the, the, the shadow flesh it's gonna have to thin it down very well um this stuff is already thinned down pretty good I'm gonna mix up a cup Let me put a little bit in here. Okay. That's how much I'm spraying right there, guys. Very lightly, you know, from far away. All right, so I'm going to start off with the leg area here. All right, somewhere around here. And then I'll turn around and I'll show you better. You know, there's not a, the lighting on this side is not very good. Let me see if I can bring this over a little bit more. Hold on a second. And then I'll put it back contraption over here. I'm spinning everything around. Everything's like on a, on a rig, so just bear with me. Right. So. Alright. It's a little dark over there. I'll try to do my best. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Looks like it's a little more light on there. This one here, let me see how much light it gives out. I got a little spot right here. Oh, there you go. Nice. Forgot about that. I don't know how long this is going to last. I haven't charged it in a while, so if it goes dead, it goes dead. Alright. So here we go. I'm going to very lightly. We'll start off with the leg area right here, okay, and then I'm going to move up here, and then move up to the face. I'm going to turn, okay, so I'm going to move my mess over a little bit, work area here, all right, very lightly, and just, you know, just spray it once, let it work itself in there, all right. Then pause, take a look, see where you're at, back of the head, the neck. And I'm 
want to spray the head. I gotta turn this off for a minute. So I gotta see a little better. It's too bright on my face. I wanna take a look. See what she looks like. Oh yeah. She's looking pretty. I wanna go a little bit in the back of the legs over here. Right. Just warm it up a little bit. Same thing with her front of the leg. Just to warm it up just a little bit. Same thing with the arms. Just to warm it up. I want the top of the forehead a little bit. I want to leave that nose a little light. A little bit on the neck right there. That's looking good right there, guys. It's coming out really nice. Needs a little makeup on the nose. A little pastel work there on the nose, I think. Um, let me look at it once I put her flat. I'll be able to tell a little better. So. That kind of warms it up nicely. Let me see what this looks like. Take her off. See that golden tone? Now again, paint the hair and everything else. It all come together. All right, and if you need to go back and do some more touch-ups, you do that. But that's right there. So I gotta paint the eye, the eyes and do a little makeup work right there in the, the edges of the nose. I think just a little bit. It's got a little color in there. She needs that nose. I think she's coming out really, really nice. I really like that. Garage Kits does wonders, man. I'm telling you. To the skin tone, I love it. All right, a little pastel work on the cheeks, maybe, maybe, maybe. Once I seal this, all right, but that's where it's at right now. We're gonna leave it here till tomorrow. All right, it's pretty late over here where I'm at right now. All right, but I wanna seal it and let it settle, and then tomorrow, if I have to hit it again, I'll do that before we start doing anything else with the hair and all the other stuff, okay. But uh, I'm as of right now, the way I see it, I'm really happy the way it looks. The highlights came in really nice. And she needs a little magenta in the hands and to give her a little blood flow, like in between the fingers and all that. But other than that, maybe a little bit on the forehead. No, but I think, I think the color is coming out really good. She's really, really pretty. She's got a nice skin tone. All right, guys, so I'm going to seal her. All right, because I don't want to mess it up. All right. Will we continue? Oh, hopefully it'll freeze. Okay, we're good. So, a day later. I'm actually kind of happy that I took a break after yesterday because I was getting a little frustrated with a little things. But as of right now, let me move this out of the way. I'm actually very happy with the skin tone is going. So what I'm going to do now is I want to paint the hair. Okay. And just to give me an idea where we're at, I'll paint the collar. The collar, I think, is black too. Okay. And then we'll paint the... The uniform 
or the boots or whatever, you know, but I want to see where, where we're going with the hair. Okay. And I'll paint this piece too, and then I'll glue it on later. I just want to get an idea really quick where we're at before I do anything like this. Let me glue it on. Um, there she is right there. Okay. Here's the toes. Highlights. Once you put the color down, like I said before, it's going to change everything a little bit. So, and then you know where you need to go. Okay, so let me get my stuff ready and I'll come back and we'll start the hair. All right, so I got some black here, it's regular black from Scale Color. All right. A little bit of water in there.
let me seal that. And then I wanna, I wanna see how this is gonna look once it, everything melts together. I really like where this is going. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit. I have the blackout, let me do the shirt. One. Alright, so let me show you what I have so far. Alright. I think she's coming out really pretty. I just gotta touch up the shirt a little bit in there in those spots to see where it's a little lighter. I'll get to that. Okay. But this is where we are right there. And the color has just magically just popped out man look at that once you put the color in man, it just changes everything that's why I don't like to do I don't like to go overboard unless I put everything else now what I did with these two a little bit before I, I uh, seal this stuff is I put a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the chin and I used um, this pinkish color no I used the yellow color right here which is just a yellow ochre, ochre tint. Okay, just a little bit on the nose, just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. Okay, okay. and that's it. And the chin, I need it a little bit. Okay, that's all I did. And then I sealed it. All right, so that's where she's at right now. All right, the eyes look a little dark. I don't want to go back in and do the eyelashes because I don't know where I want to go with that yet. I think I'm going to leave it just a little bit more, a little translucent like that, but just touch up maybe a couple things in there and that's about it. But other than that, just, just leave the eyes alone for me. Alright. Uh, I really like where everything is coming together now. And I was a little worried before. I wasn't, you know, sure. To be honest with you, I'm not going to lie to you. I was, I was getting a little worried where, but now that I put... That's what you gotta do. You gotta, what I was trying to explain is don't go overboard with the skin tone until you put some color in the hair and maybe a little, little bit of the clothes. So this way, you know, it gives you an idea where you're at. Because now you can see that, you know, the skin tone is, is at least a little bit closer to where it should be. Okay, with her. All right. And I really like it. I really love it. Love it. All of it. Okay love the legs the way the highlights on the legs are and things like that okay very nice when she's standing up everything's coming out along very nicely i'm very happy where it's at so i'm gonna leave it here for now all right so i want to apologize for um the recording on this one i had a 
not record while we were talking about because this was filmed during a uh, a meet and the conversation was not something for me to share but you know uh, also some of the video got cut off I mean as far as me painting the red here um, I used a burnt red from um, um, Monument Hobbies Pro Acro to paint the red and I'm shading here with with a golden um, shading gray sorry about that and um, I'm just shading underneath the shadows on the red okay and you see I masked everything uh, to protect the skin tones I used a uh, silly putty and I also used uh, um, um, some uh, plastic wrap you know just simply just to protect the whole kit from uh, from getting any paint on it but here I'm just shading you can see how underneath the wrinkles and everything is a little darker now this golden shading gray is very diluted already it's very thin paint uh, and it's very transparent but you know I also thinned it just a little bit not a whole lot uh, just to help it flow through the to the brush but I'm doing it very very lightly in those folds okay just a little bit and then I, I went back after after I did the shading I went back with the burnt red and just lightly sprayed over just to blend everything in together and I think it came out really really nice the whole thing just looks really really good so there I took I was taking all the, the putty and all the wrapping and just cleaning things up and I just loved the way the skin tone just came out now I'm really happy the way the skin don't came out. Now that that red is there, it just just brings everything together really, really nice. As you guys can see, look look at the the kit, look at the way it's coming out, and the way she looks. And I'm really, really happy with the way everything is just looking now. All right. So the next part of the video I think is going to be back to uh, regular audio. Alright, but just so you guys have an idea just how the process was done. I wasn't sure if I was going to add this or not, but I, I'm glad I did. Sorry, I had a little thing went. Here we go, uh, gloss black, okay. From Vallejo. Put a couple of little drops on there, a little bit of thinner. And paint those boots. Alright, so when I come back, uh, we'll, we'll do something else. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint the eyes. And this is uh, White Sands. Okay, nice scale color. Same color I use all the time. Most of the time. Just put a little bit of water on the brush, a little bit of paint. And why are you asking why you're not using a wet palette? I'm not going to use enough paint to warrant the wet palette to come out. <clears throat> you know, so in the color. I was going to reuse the color over and over again on a sit down, and I would use the wet palette. And now if I was brushing a lot, using hand brush. Not the airbrush, all right. So, hence that's the reason why I use the wet palette. I hate to clean it constantly. It's a great tool. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but for the amount of brushing that I'm doing right now on larger kits, you know, kind of thing. If I had smaller kits, I'll be using the brush a lot more. And. I would pull that sucker out and use it in a minute because it is a good tool. Don't get me wrong. And if that's the kind of thing you're into, then I would start hardly. I seriously suggest that you get one. Because you'll save yourself a ton of money on paint. <clears throat> this is a good, good way to do uh, glazing and stuff like that, you know. Sometimes, you know, that's like a layer, uh, a printing layer right there. It's in the eye. It's kind of pain in the ass. Look at that. It's coming out really nice. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to pull some black out, and I'm going to paint. I want to fix the black. Or the, you know, I want to use black brown. There was a lot of paint that was kicked onto the tip. Just a little bit for now. This is the color that I'm going to use to do the hair too. So. See how this looks. You can always go over. If you don't like it the way it looks, just go over with the black. Now 
looks really nice. I'm really happy the way she's coming out. Alright, so what I want to do now before I seal anything, I don't want to get too repetitive here, so. So I got the black brown now, let's do the hair. What do you guys say? Alright, let me switch glasses real quick. So I got the one in the eyes, I can seal everything all in one shot. <clears throat> I have to keep on going back and forth. So I'm gonna get a big bristle because I'm gonna do large areas and then to get close to the edge, get the smaller guy out. I'm gonna have to use the big, big one, do I? You know I'm gonna use one of these and I'm take out a couple different things here. This knife is gonna kill me. It does suck like we're sitting up. <laughs> in there. Alright, let me get a couple different sizes here. So we got the black, brown. This gives all the raised areas all right, a nice highlight. Okay, and it brings, look at that. It just brings everything together really nicely. Look at that. All right, look at that color. Just love it. it looks so pretty. The dress painted accentuates the skin tone very nicely. Highlights in the hair, the painting in the eyes. Alright, gonna finish up those lips. Alright, look at that. All right. Beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. His face is beautiful. Look at that. Arms, legs, everything. Everything came, over. everything came together very nice. Don't be afraid to go back and touch up things if you have to. It's okay, I do it. You know, if you need to touch up anything, maybe you can use some, some uh, pastels. All right, and highlight or darken certain areas that you want to darken or highlight. It's all about going back and forth. All right. All right so this earring looks okay. I'm going to have to fix this one. And put a little piece of putty, maybe, and work. Either try to work it or, I don't know, we'll see. I'm so angry about the earrings. That's okay, though. Alright. Let me do a ponytail. Don't forget the ponytail. To dry. I felt so I'm gonna let this dry and I want to seal it. When I come back, we'll do the eyes. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna paint the eyes. I'm not gonna use the decals this time um, because of the shape of the eye and the way that she's looking on that picture that I have there for reference. So, what I'm going to start off with, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use black brown for the base. Use a little Bosch chestnut from the skin tone into the eyes. And then I'll dot the, the black for the iris. 
<clears throat> and again, because it's so small, and <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to put a decal in there, I think, or to shape the decal the right way. So, just in case I have the decals ready to go. Um, I'm going to have two very fine uh, brushes here. I got one from uh, Mini War Paint, which is very fine, small, if you can see. Okay. And then this one is from Tamiya. Very, very small, fine brush for detailing. All right. Yeah. So. I want to keep that sucker right there on the side just in case I need it. I am going to put a drop of the black brown. Okay, I need a lot. I'm going to need some water. I'm not sure if that's thinner or water, so I'm just going to put water here for now. And if I'm blocking you, I apologize. I'm going to try the best to do this so you guys can see it. All right. Start off on this eye. Now see how I do it, it's like dot. I don't just, I go in there and I dot a little bit. And I, um, and what I try to do is creep. You know, I creep in there just slowly into where I want to make the area a little bit wider. So I start off from the inside where I've got paint already. And I work my way around to try to get a nice circular shape. All right. And then this is slow. Take your time. Alright. Just needs a little touch.
I'm seeing something probably what you guys are not seeing. So I'm touching up <clears throat> a couple areas that I might have missed in there in the eye. If I'm looking at sideways. Right. There she goes. She's looking really pretty. You now with the eyes in and everything. It makes a big difference, right? Let me touch up just a little bit more on that white. And hopefully we're all done right there and I can go in with the other color. There it is. Right there. Perfect. I want to put a little pink underneath and everything like that like underneath this part of the eye put a little pink in there in the corners of the eyes all right don't forget that all right so let's move on to the next one all right so I'm going to put a little Bosch chest sign here one second Very thin paint. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna use this little guy. Creep in in there. Just try to get it on the more towards the middle, going towards the outside of the eye. Just get a little highlight. She's looking good, guys. I like that. Real pretty. Look at that. So for a minute, I want to see something. Clean this up. What do you guys think? Nice, right? Alright guys, so basically this is the end of the video. Um, just to let you know that the base um, was done in a, like an aluminum finish by Vallejo. And then I just put some transparent red and blues just on certain areas just to make it look a little nice. And it's so metallic, you know. But I'll leave some pictures at the end here. And um, hopefully you enjoyed and learned something. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Peace.